School spending has tripled over the past 40 years. We now spend much more than other countries, but what do we get? Fancier schools, more assistant principals, but student learning? No improvement. Look at it. There's the line. For 40 years, scores have been flat. Much more money, no improvement. This is awful, but there is some good news. Around America, some very cool things are starting to happen. But school is boring. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I know. I went to school. Grade school was boring. So was high school. So was Princeton. Except for the party parts. But fourth grade? You have to learn reading and writing. That's work. Reading is work, but it's rockin' awesome. Rockin' awesome? And these kids say school is fun? Yes. How is it fun to learn? <gasps> they just teach us in a fun way. So you guys look forward to going to school in the morning? Yes. These kids attend one of those new charter schools. It's free public schools, but their charter lets the school escape the bureaucracy of regular schools, including teachers' union rules. This school enrolls the inner city kids bureaucrats label at risk of failure. But these kids learn. Devin is 100% on top of her game right now. Going to our school is uh, a ticket to educational success. This woman runs several charter schools. All get outstanding test scores. Do you do this all with the same money the public schools get? We actually do it with less, four and $6,000 less per child. How? For less money do they get the kids so interested? You're interested in math and yes. Yes. reading. Yes. Yes. Learning is work. It don't matter. <laughs> the school day here is longer. Kids often stay till 5 p.m. Charter teachers can be asked to work more than the union would have allowed. They told us they don't mind. But you're going to burn out. Why aren't you ticked off? That's not an option for us because we kind of have our eye on the prize with these kids. They use all sorts of new teaching techniques. Sometimes teachers wear earpieces during class and then they're coached by their bosses. What are they telling you? They're telling me things that I don't see. If I don't think of a great question in, this, in the moment, my principal's able to kind of feed that to me through the earpiece. We kind of view teachers as athletes in the Olympics and they need constant support and coaching to be at the top of their game. Kids at this school constantly wave their hands around. It confused me, but then the students explained it's what they call active listening. Instead of interrupting class to blurt out, say, can I go to the bathroom, or I agree with that, the students make hand gestures. So what's the symbol for agree? No, no, you like this. Oh. High test scores made these charters so popular that parents line up, hoping to get their kids admitted. This line goes on and on forever goes around the block. So many applicants, but not that many spaces. So what do you do when you have thousands of people and just a few hundred slots? They hold a lottery. <laughs> the winners are happy. Sadly, there are many more losers. On the other end of America, in Oakland, California, another charter chain gets similar top results using different methods. Here's what I say. Give me the worst school in Oakland, black, Mexican, polka dot, give us the worst school anywhere in America and we'll take it and we'll, we'll outperform the other schools in five years. Ben Chavis created the model at the American Indian Public Charter Schools, right in the heart of our rough neighborhood. Now these are hard workers here. The kids at American Indian schools now have some of the highest test scores in California. And you could do that on the same amount the state gives every school? We get less. We get less than every other school. The kids in American Indian public charter schools are scoring so far above the average for the state for public school children that there isn't even a word for it. They use different techniques from the charters in Harlem. Here at American Indian, they pay some kids to tutor yeah. other kids. We hire our students and we pay them. Thank you. They're excited. They're going to make some money. Chavis is politically <laughs> incorrect. What are you going to study? Science. Science? A Mexican in science? <laughs> yeah, good for you, honey. You'll be a rare bird.
He's been criticized for imposing strict rules. You got in trouble eating your boy. They're stricter because they really want us to succeed. A teacher made this student do push-ups in the hallway because he didn't follow directions. You actually have to try hard when you're here. I hate Saturday school. Oh my God. My other school, we didn't have as much homework. We had like one page of homework, but then here we have six subjects of homework. And then the teachers were a lot nicer and here they're a lot meaner. Meaner, and yet no student's been expelled since the school began in 2000? No way. I love fools. I love the kids who get in trouble because you can take a kid who's acting like a fool or gets in trouble and use them as an example. It's cruel, your critics say. We have a sixth grade student acts up in class, he'll be sent to sit on the floor in an eighth grade class. Yes, that's true. And embarrassment keeps people in line, whether we want to admit it or not. Even gym class is strict. At my old school, we play games every, every PE, but here, it's either running for 10 minutes or running around the block. You fire people at your schools. They should be fired. You fired a teacher after one day? She is incompetent. You could tell in one day? Yes, she is incompetent. Last year, I thought I was gonna get fired a few times. If I'm not doing a good job, it's over. And it could happen at the drop of a dime. That's not true at most government-run schools, especially union ones. Union teachers are happy that they can't be suddenly fired. But these charter teachers can be. You can get canned in a moment. Doesn't it bother you? If I'm not doing my job, per se, and I was fired for that, so be it. If I was a doctor and I wasn't good, I mean, I wouldn't have a job. No one would come to me, right? I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot maintain quality unless you can fire people, says this charter founder. It's as, as many as we must and as little as we can. Have you fired more than 10? Uh, in three schools in eight years, yes. But while bad teachers might get fired, good teachers are given freedom. They can choose their textbooks, their teaching methods, as long as they, every quarter and every year, make sure that the students are learning what they need to learn at the end of the day. In Harlem, 43% of eighth graders get passing grades and state math tests. 100% of her kids pass. So, if such charters work, why aren't there more of them? Don't be fooled, abort charter schools. Because unions and supporters of traditional schools hate charters. This protest occurred outside one of Eva Moskowitz's charters. Eva Moskowitz, Moscow! I hope it's not personal, but it may be.